There were fears that when COVID-19 vaccinations started, so would vaccine wars. And this week, the danger of vaccine nationalism became real. If we hoard vaccines and if we're not sharing, there will be three major problems. One, I said it, there will be a catastrophic moral failure. And two, it keeps the pandemic burning. And three, very slow economic, global economic recovery. On Friday, the European Commission announced a COVID-19 export block, targeting the UK, the US and Japan to protect its own limited supplies. The Commission then said it would trigger an article in its Brexit agreement with the UK, which could have seen checks at the border of Ireland and Northern Ireland to stop vaccines entering the UK. London, Dublin and Belfast were outraged, leading to late-night phone calls among the leaders. This is an incredibly hostile and aggressive act by the European Union bloc. They are trying to stop the supply of vaccine, a vaccine designed to save lives into the United Kingdom. But by late Friday night, the European Union had backed down. It published a statement saying it wouldn't trigger the clause, but added... Should transits of vaccines and active substances toward third countries be abused, the EU will consider using all the instruments at its disposal. In the world of diplomacy by tweets, there was relief, however. Ireland welcomed the reversal and said it was a positive development. But the issue of vaccine nationalism is far from resolved. AstraZeneca is still unable to supply all the doses right now that the European Union says it was promised. And the world's richest countries are faced with a dilemma. Do they prioritise their country's needs over the rest of the world? And in doing so, risk damaging not only a global health recovery, but an economic one too. Nicole Johnston, CGTN, London.